Hi everyone, Morten Ostad here. Welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would show you a record that I picked up uh, was it earlier this week or last weekend. And um, it's funny. You wait for a band to record something new or re-release stuff, and uh, and then they finally do, and you pick up uh, this this copy of Alice in Chains, Black Gives Way to Blue. Uh, which I picked up two weeks ago. Uh, it was released, I think it was released three weeks ago, but it took a, an extra week before my my record shop got this. And um, then, uh, just days later, uh, you read, uh, somehow went, uh, I, yeah, I may have read it earlier, uh, but... Um, And forgotten it, but anyway, uh, that uh, you know, uh, their main man, Mr. Jerry Cantrell, uh, releases a new solo album like the week or two after the re release of this, uh, this on vinyl. Um, uh, which, um, I'm, I'm not un unhappy about that, I just think it's it's kind of a kind of a little bit weird, maybe. And, um, Jerry Cantrell, um, of course, kept, uh, Busy um, after the, of course, the initial uh, end of Alice in Chains. I have some of his uh, stuff on on vinyl. I have this beautiful uh, degra <laughs> degradation trip volumes one and two. Uh, this one is a little bit special to me because when I turned fifty, I got some gift cards, and one of the gift cards was from. Uh, a very dear friend of mine and uh, who means a lot to me and um, I spent that gift card getting this and uh, yeah uh, great great album um, music on vinyl roadrunner records great and then um, what is it now two years ago um, he released a new solo album and um, it's it's this one. Now this looks a little bit different than maybe some of the one copies you've seen, because I ordered this from his uh, website, and um, because of the vinyl and the different color scheme of the uh, album cover, it wasn't uh, at all. Uh, didn't really set me back much compared to you know um, what was the name of this again bright brighton so funny um i've actually listened to uh, the record that i'm going to show you in a second a little bit before i got it uh in part because um i thought i was going to get it and i got home empty-handed so i went on and listened to it a little bit and i must say it's funny how this even for jerry seems more bright and positive and I'm not sure it immediately resonated with me. Um, I do need feel I do feel I have to work a little bit more on listening to this. And um, when I when I grabbed it today, uh, I was like, man, I really need to sit down and listen to some of the stuff that I gotten over the last couple of years, especially. So um, now. I have to say about this copy, it's not the copy that I really wanted. The copy I really wanted was, was had colored vinyl and I think a little extra on, on the album cover. But Big Dipper, where I normally uh, buy my records here in Oslo, especially this kind of record, they didn't seem aware of Jerry Control having released a new uh, album. Um, so they kind of I think they kind of said that there were probably some distribution stuff that was weird. And uh, Plot Company did have his new album. Uh, uh, but they did also say that uh, it was a little more expensive because their their copy of this new solo album is a US import, apparently. Um, so I thought with this color scheme and this mood, the red vinyl would have been great. but. I just couldn't wait. I really wanted uh, wanted this now, and um, uh, 
especially because I listened to it a little bit online. And uh, I said, this, this was more back to the mood that I expect from Jerry Cantrell. Uh, dark and gloomy, and I love it. <laughs> I'm Scandinavian, of course I love dark and, and moody. So yeah, uh, I want blood. Don't we all? Uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, I've listened to it a little bit already and I, I really like it. And uh, oh, look at that. So we got Willified, Off the Rails, Afterglow, and then we got I Want Blood, Echoes of Laughter, Throw Me a Line, uh, Let It Lie, Held held Your Tongue, It Comes, and uh, on side D is Spoken Word. Yeah, I didn't get around to that online though. Yep, we have proper inner sleeves. So, you see this JC logo here in red? I think on the colored vinyl version, it's. I think it's painted on top of that face, like, like so. Uh, like I said, I have I haven't seen I haven't held it in in my hand, so I wouldn't I'm not entirely sure that what it is uh, that's what it is. But uh, yeah. So, what else was in here? We have a repeat of the gatefold, and we have lyrics. Here we are. So anyway, guys, uh, oh, looking very much forward to uh, putting this on the turntable. Uh, sounds great so far from what I've heard, and uh, it'll probably be even better when I play it. Yeah, love Jerry Control. And as we established from my competition, there's another one with uh, another one from over across the pond there who are, you know, in, in part Norwegian. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching my opening of my brand new Jerry Cantrell uh, record. Uh, leave me a line. Are you going to get this? Um, did you know that it was out there even? And um, are you uh, also uh, really hoping that... Um, couple of Alice in Chains records get re-released now so you can maybe complete the uh, collection <clears throat> tripod and uh, if you want to click like that helps my channel if you want to subscribe that makes me happy and I hope to see you soon in another video bye